Now, yesterday was National Grilled Cheese Day, and we could not pass up the chance to celebrate this culinary classic. Our guest today has ways to elevate this American favorite and tips on what makes the ultimate cheesy grilled sandy. Yeah, yeah. joining us is Sri Dival, marketing partner with Mama's Comfort Food and Craft Cocktails. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Thank you for being, for being back, back with us, bringing us this gorgeous spread with creative takes yes. on the grilled cheese as well as yes. classic ones. First, let's start off with the basics. What goes into a good grilled cheese? Yes. Have some props. Yeah. So a great grilled cheese really starts with the foundations, right? So you need a great bread. So I've seen it done anywhere from a really thick sourdough to sometimes even brioche. You can do a beautiful Texas toast. It's really, you want to get those thick slices so you can sear and get the crunch on the top and just make sure the bread is nice and fluffy on the inside. And then quality cheese, of course. And you really yes. can't go wrong with cheese. I really, from mm. Velveeta all the way up to the most premium oh. and everything in between you should do. Okay. <laughs> Any I, cheese makes a good grilled cheese. I think cheese. most yes. people out there would say, Cheese and bread, like yes. you can't go wrong. No, right? it's it's so nostalgic. Cheese. Butter, yes. Cro good butter. Cro Gotta get some good butter. Croque yeah. Madame. Is this the Croque Madame? This is the Croque Madame. So this is um, this is just how Mama would do it. So this is we actually do it since this is a morning specialty. Yeah. Um, it has a little bit of sweet and savory. So we actually dip the bread in a French toast with a ground Captain Crunch in it. Oh, so you no get way. a little bit of that sweet. Then you have the cheese that's layered, a little bit of savory with the ham, and then you have two eggs over medium. It is. Delicious. It comes with a side of country gravy because you know Mama loves her gravy. Yeah. And you know you don't often think of grilled cheese for breakfast, but that's there breakfast. It is. If I've yes, ever it seen is. it, it wouldn't have thought top. of the Captain Crunch. Don't even want to ask how you guys yeah. thought of that one. It's so good. <laughs> oh, I bet. Okay, so another one uh, you have meatloaf in the grilled cheese. Yes, so this is a classic grilled cheese, and this is named after our owner, Robert, so one of our owners. This is his family's signature meatloaf recipe. So of course oh. we had to throw it into a grilled cheese, top it high with those fried onions, and then just the garlic mayo. It's just a beautiful a sandwich. One? Yes. So my taster has a bite <laughs> already taken out of it. Is that from Andy? Yes. Because some people just could not resist a chance to get in on this food. Andy oh Reesmar said it was delicious. Let's see what we think. This is like a... It's delicious. Mm. What is the mm. sandwich with the, oh the onions and the... Like a it's French my favorite. Mm. Mm. No? The onions. Yeah. Mm. Patty melt. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, so absolutely, good. yes. They have all those flavor profiles, sure. Okay. Uh-oh, we're a both treat. chewing. You're both chewing. Okay, okay. Really what's next? <laughs> mac, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. So as if anything couldn't get better with a grilled cheese, we go ahead and put pulled pork with uh -huh. a sweet barbecue, add macaroni and cheese, that thick toasted uh, sourdough, Parmesan and garlic crusted on the sourdough Ooh. with, of course, butter to get that nice crunch. And then you have the mac and cheese and the pulled pork and, again, those fried onions. And this is just a beautiful, extreme uh, grilled cheese. Yes. So you can just take your mac and cheese, put it right into just the grilled cheese, right fry in. it up, and yeah. then it's just, bam, a have sandwich. A lot of different textures. You got some crunch, you got some smooth you, with the noodles, you got some pulled pork, so you get a little bit of flavor in uh -huh. there. It's a really great way. And, of course, it's just... It's extreme. It's the way. It's just so good. It's great for a grilled cheese. I think extreme is a good thing when it comes to food, especially <laughs> this day and age. No matter where you go, now I find it to be like these trendy spots where it's like, yes. you, how creative can yes. you get, even when it comes to desserts? Absolutely. So this is something that we just absolutely love. It's not yeah. grilled cheese, but we had to show it. Yeah, up. why not? It looks beautiful. Yes. Yeah, we so have this is our red velvet, so the dessert. So this is red velvet pancakes, actually. Oh. Cream cheese frosting. And then, of course, we have the white chocolate chips with the blueberries, powdered sugar, mm. and mint. It's so nostalgic. It mm. takes you right back, red velvet to the south. We love it. And mm. I like that you put yogurt chips on the side, with little blueberries. We got it so all. good. Yes. The details. <clears throat> now I have to say thank you so much because you brought food for our newsroom, which yes. that is the way to any journalist's heart is yes. food in the newsroom. And you know, anchors too. But when we're talking about grilled cheese, part of the appeal uh -huh. is in what you pair with it. Yeah. So talk a little bit about what's on here on this table because of course, tomato, tomato soup, soup is a yes. classic to accompany it. Yes, wow. absolutely. So the that? tomato basil bisque is such a classic. I mean, this is really like a great garlic bread with yeah. cheese. So you just dip that. It has the Parmesan. And you, again, you have that really great sear on the sourdough. Just dip it right in the tomato bisque. Um, with the croque madame, we love to do it because that's a little bit sweeter because of the Captain Crunch and the batter. Um, we like to pair it with just plain black coffee. It's one of those things that just goes really well. And Megan's then, oh, trying it. Megan, yes. it. Because we missed this one. I missed this one earlier. Yes. Can you taste the Captain Crunch? You can, but I'm also yeah. tasting huh. vanilla, nutmeg. Yeah, like French toast. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Captain Crunch. It makes yeah. sense.
so it goes great. And then, of course, we have Mama's signature Bloody Mary mm. with 32 different items. Oh, wow. And um, this one is has no alcohol, so you can taste it. Oh, it's nice. delicious. But this is really great. So this kind of goes with anything. Um, all of your sandwiches are just really approachable. They're very easy to make. Yes. It's bread and cheese, which is just nothing could be better than that. So the basic, <laughs> just you butter the bread, you put it together with the cheese, and then you fry it both sides in a frying yes. pan. Is yeah. that the... Yeah, and get that pan really hot, hot, hot. So you're going to have that. It's going to be perfect. Because then that kind of gives you the little bit of um, variation in the textures of the bread. You'll have it fluffy yeah. on one side, a little bit crispy on the other. And then also it's just, um, you know, the, the butter. The butter does matter. So yeah. you have salted butter, you have unsalted butter, and then you can even go Irish cream, which has a little bit of oh. higher fat volume. Oh, which do you do? So um, I like salted. Salted butter. It brings butter. out a lot of flavor in the sourdough. So I really like that. So and this is good for kids, good yes. for adults. I know yes. my daughter loves her uh, grilled cheese and then when she leaves the stuff left over. The crust, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the high chair diet. It's like, what's oh, the high chair diet. Well, great <laughs> stuff. Know. Thank you so much. What a great time to celebrate grilled cheese. We love all the variations oh, you yeah, brought. So you. Uh, you can celebrate grilled cheese day all year long. Visit Mama's Comfort Foods and Craft Cocktails at their three locations and online at mamasonthreenine.com and make your version of these grilled cheese sandwiches yes. and let us know how it goes. We'll Thank be right back. Thank you. Thank you. So good to see you. Thank you.